Hey, welcome to the show. Today I got a special request for 597 divided by eight. I got that request from a viewer. The name is Rajis K. So thank you very much. I'm always looking at the comments. And also a little uh, shout out to uh, Savitha, um, Arshel and Chanrel, um, Walter, Samantha and Kyla, and TTAG. So thank you very much for your comments. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I am working on the HK uh, MLC board, and this is a smart board. It's so cool. I love working with it. So um, I check it out down below in the comments if you're interested in a whiteboard like this. Uh, really helps out uh, doing mathematics and just a lot of fun. All right, we got the problem here. 597 divided by 8. So what we got to do is figure out how many times 8 goes into this number. So if you don't know your multiplication, well, I'm going to show you your multiplication facts. I love the smart board. So here, I already wrote down some multiplication facts for you. I got the eights. We got 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, and so forth. So I can't put 8 into 5, can I? It's too small. So I need to move over to the next number, 59. How many times can I put 8 into 59? Let's take a look right here. We have 8 times 7 is 56, and then 8 times 8 is 64. 64 is too big. So when it goes over 59, when it's bigger than 59, we can't use it. So we have to stick with 8 times 7. So let's go ahead and put 7 right here. Whoops, I got to put my uh, pen tool on there. Put 7 right here. And now I'm going to take 7 times 8 equals 56. So I'm going to go ahead and put 56 right here. And then the next step is I'm going to subtract. So go ahead and put the subtraction symbol right here. And then 9 minus 6 equals 3. So I put 3 right here. And now our next step is we drop the next number down. And our next number would be 7. So I bring that 7 all the way down, just right down here, and put 7 right there. And then we start the whole process over. So now how many times can I put 8 into 37? Let's look for the number 37 here. We have 32. And then we have 40. 40 is too big, so we're going to stick with 32. So I'm going to take 8 times 4. So I'm going to put the 4 right here. And then 4 times 8 would be 32, just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and subtract. So I have 7 minus 2 equals 5. So I go ahead and put 5 right there. This would be our remainder. I'm going to bring the, whoops. <laughs> Uh, let me do a, sometimes I'm, I'm making a little boo-boos along the way, but that's all right. We're going to fix it. Um, I'm going to bring the board over here just a little bit. So this would be our remainder. We would, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and move this right here. So if you're working with remainders, you're going to put it right here. A remainder of five. All right. So if you're going to be working with decimals, you would put a decimal point right here. So let's try a decimal, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take out the remainder 5. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And now I'm going to put a decimal there. And when I put a decimal, that means I can add as many zeros as I want to on that side. And also when I put a decimal here, I need to put a decimal point up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a zero right here. And then I'm going to drop the zero down, just like this, all the way here. And now I have 50. And then start the whole process over again. How many times does 8 go into 50? Six times. So I'm going to go ahead and put 6 right here. And then 6 times 8 is 48. And then I need to make my problem a little bit smaller to work with here. So that's the really cool thing with working with a smart board. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and make that smaller. Move this over here, just like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and subtract. So 50 minus 48 would be 2. So put 2 right there. And again, I can add another 0 right here. I can add as many zeros as I want to. So I'm going to drop the next zero down here. And now I have 20. So that would be how many times does 8 go into 20? Two times. 
two times eight would be 16. Otherwise, three would be 24, too big. So we're gonna try just two times right here. So two times here, I'm gonna bring this line over here. So two times eight would be 16, subtract that, and then we would have four right there. I'm gonna drop another zero down. I'm gonna drop it down. Yeah, right down here. Now I have 40. Look at this. This is gonna be a kind of exciting here. I didn't know if it was going to come out to an equal number here. And yeah, put it in there like that. So now, how many times does eight go into 40? Five times. So I'm gonna put a five right here. Five times eight would be 40. Subtract, and I have zero. And that is our answer. Our answer is 74.625. Wasn't that cool? Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show. I sure appreciate it. Sure appreciate it. If you put down a comment, um, I'm always looking at the comments and sometimes I'll choose one of your problems. And uh, I just love working with you guys. Also check out right here. That's a, uh, a link to my new channel called Dino Math. I'm trying to get that started. Sure appreciate it. If you can go over there and hit the subscribe button and pay attention in the future. Um, and then probably in a couple weeks, we're going to be having a live show and I'm going to be uh, helping out uh, all kinds of people with mathematics on our live show. It's going to be so fun. And I know that a lot of you are in different parts of the, the world, um, India, Pakistan, Egypt. I, somebody uh, said um, they're in Egypt and just kind of curious, um, when would you, you know, when would you think you would like to uh, watch a live show? Um, you know, it would be on a Saturday or Sunday or, you know, in the after, uh, like in the evening and what type of hours you'd be looking for. So, um, yeah, just always kind of curious about that. So um, I cannot, I cannot wait. We're going to have so much fun on that live show. Hey, thanks so much. I hope you are getting outside and playing around and having a fun day. Talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.